We're being asked to graph f of x above. f of x equals base 2 raised to the power x plus 1. Click on the gray box. Read the instructions on the yellow bar. Choose a tool. Click on the exponential function icon. Read the instructions on the yellow banner. Click anywhere on the graphing grid. Click. The graph and the basic function appears. And so does the transformations box. Notice that the plus 1 is in the power position with the x. That means the horizontal shift is negative 1 to the left. Enter the fact in the transformations box. When the vertical stretch equals 1, there is no vertical stretch. Same for the horizontal stretch. When the vertical shift or horizontal shift equals 0, there is not a vertical shift or a horizontal shift. But there is a horizontal shift here of 1 to the left. So type negative 1 in the horizontal shift box. Leave the reflection boxes empty in this case. Backspace over the E and change the base to 2. Because the base is 2, not E. Now click Save and check your answer. Nice work. OK, now fill in the domain of f of x. The blue graph goes forever from left to right, which means the entire x-axis is the domain of f of x. OK, and check your answer. Now the range. The range describes the vertical interval covered by the graph, lowest value to highest value, on the y-axis. OK, this time I'm going to use the interval uh, box that's already there tool. OK, the graph never touches the x-axis, so y will not equal 0. Again, we check the answer, and it's correct. The equation of the asymptote is y equals 0, because the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. Check your answer. Excellent! Now, we're going to choose whether or not the graph is increasing or decreasing on its entire domain. From left to right, the graph is increasing, getting taller, getting higher, rather. So I choose increasing. Now let's go to the next question. f of x equals 6 to the x, and we want to find out how to get f of x equals 6 to the x plus 2 from y equals 6 to the x. The plus 2 on the right side is a vertical shift. Click on the gray box. Click on the icon representing exponential functions. Follow the instructions on the yellow banner. The vertical and horizontal stretches are set to 1 which means there is no vertical or horizontal stretch. The vertical stretch is set to 1 right there, and the horizontal stretch is set to 1 right there. The vertical shift is set to 0, which means no vertical shift. And the horizontal shift is set to 0, which means no horizontal shift. But there is a vertical shift of 2. So move the, uh, the gray box to 2, positive 2. Leave the horizontal shift at 0. The horizontal shift would appear up in the uh, exponent with x. But it's not there, so it's 0. 
If there were an x-axis reflection, there would be a negative number or a negative sign in front of 6. If there were a y-axis reflection, there would be a negative sign or a negative number in front of x. The base is already set to 6, so click Save, then check your answer.